Hey there, guys. Thanks a lot for joining me again. It is really early in the morning here, and I couldn't sleep for some reason. I had been planning to do a video this weekend anyway, so I thought this might be a good time to uh, take a crack at it. It's very quiet in the house, and seemed like a good time to listen to some sounds, and to help us with that, we've got a treasure chest, an actual chest with treasure in it. This is a cedar box that belonged to my mom, and she kept old coins in it, and it still has old coins in it, and we're going to just do something simple like sort the coins into piles after we listen to some of this cedar wood. If you open the lid slightly, you get a little different sound. I don't know if you can see it in the glare, but there are some words on the top of this box. It says, Paul Bunyan, Bemidji, Minnesota. Have you ever been to Bemidji, Minnesota? I asked my dad about that. He said they, they did go up there a couple of times years and years ago for, for fishing, fishing trips. Mom must have purchased this box up there. And she used it to keep coins in. Now, I have a confession to make. went through and took the very oldest coins out of this box already because I want to save them for a second video. But there's plenty of other things still in here. My mom was a big fan of John F. Kennedy, so there are a lot of John F. Kennedy half dollars in this box.
more than any of the other coins. I kind of think that every Kennedy half dollar she encountered while around town she kept and put in this box. There's a lot of them. I thought we would just maybe go through these coins and sort them into stacks. Something simple. Sometimes we need to do simple things. Simple things that we can control the outcome of. If you have a bad day at work, or a bad couple of days, or a bad week, sometimes just doing something simple can help calibrate you, you know. It doesn't have to be anything important. For me, sometimes it's mowing the lawn. Sometimes you try to accomplish good things at work or in other areas of your life and you feel like you're just banging your head against a wall because of things that are outside of your control. And sometimes just coming home and mowing the yard and keeping those lines nice and straight can seem really, really satisfying because you might not be able to do all the good that you were trying to do at work, but at least you can make those lines straight. I know it sounds kind of silly, but it's a real thing. Shall we take a look inside? See, I told you there was treasure. say we just sort these into some piles, okay?
There's going to be a lot of these. the bicentennial version.
think that's too many. beginning to the bottom. That's it. So as you can see, she had a ton of Kennedy halves in this box. She had some Eisenhower dollars. Some Susan B. Anthony dollars. Some Jefferson Nichols, Washington Quarters, and these are all Bicentennial Quarters, Cold 
coins like these make great sounds. But like I said, there were uh, a handful of much older coins in this box as well. It's a bit of a mystery to me how she came across those coins because they are not ones that she would have found in circulation. But she was also not a, a coin collector as a hobbyist. I mean, aside from finding things like these and sticking them in this box. So, I thought it would be good to save those for a second video where we can look at them more closely. And we'll look at some of these more closely too. Hope you enjoyed these sounds. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much for joining me.